Welcome to another installment of the Be Relentless Vlog CrossFit Deliverance Athletes. Okay, let's jump into the programming for tomorrow. We're going to be uh, starting out with a 10 minute Imam. The odd minutes is going to be either toast bar, high knee raises with a kick, or going to be the toast bar sub where you're laying down, holding onto a kettlebell, and you're working on that tuck, then extension to copy the movement pattern of the toast bar. Uh, we're going to be looking to try to go ahead and get four to 10 quality reps of the, one of those three movements throughout the a 10 minute uh, imam. If the rep quality starts to really go ahead and fall apart, we're no longer keeping the rhythm and it turns into that like kip and then we swing, swing and kip, swing, swing, then we need to go ahead and downgrade ourselves to a simpler movement pattern to where we're able to keep the tension, the torque, to be able to keep the movement pattern the way we want it, right? Be relentless within your movement pattern, right? Um, on the even minutes, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna be working on just doing five blank bar hang uh, power cleans, and you're really gonna be working on cycling with minimal pause at the hang position. Remember, hang position is whenever your arms go down uh, towards your hip and your knees and your arms are long, right? That could be from high hang, that could be low hang, or anything in between, right? We're just working on keeping the midline organized, the shoulder blades down and back, we aren't rolled forward, and just working on as soon as that bar hits, whatever position you think you might need to for the workout to generate power back up in a virtuous way to go ahead and work on, cool, things are tight, I got there, right back up into it, right? We aren't pausing, waiting, finding tension again, boom. It's all about keeping tension so you can bounce right back out of it. Um, the wad, right, that kind of goes into the wad is gonna be a one mile run, 50 hang power cleans at 135.95, then it's going to be another one mile run. RX plus, if you see that and you're like, ah, oh, okay, cool, that, that, that looks like it's fun, but I can definitely go ahead and complete that sub 20 minutes, which is the goal, by the way, then your hang power cleans turn into hang power clean and jerks, right? So that means you're gonna go ahead and do a hang power clean, do a jerk, and then go right back into the next hang power clean and jerk, right? So we're just adding a, 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 a essentially more time under tension, right? And then possibly uh, because of that, the grip is gonna be tasked a little bit more. Now, there is a goal time of sub 20 minutes. So if you say, okay, cool, like I can run a mile in 10 minutes, then you need to go ahead and pick a weight that you know you can do 50 hang power cleans within five minutes because the time cap is gonna be closer to 25, about 27 minutes. So you need to make sure that it's you're heading that run as hard as you can or if you need to say, go ahead because you aren't able to run because maybe you're dealing with the Achilles issue or just the impact isn't good for you, right? That means you're gonna be doing a 2K row for every mile. Um, uh, or you're going to be going ahead and doing a um, 2K uh, bike, right, uh, for every mile. That You need to scale that hang power clean weight down to where you can hit them hard and you can hit them fast, under control, looking uh, like you're being a powerful, durable human being. That's going to be the intention of the workout, guys. Go ahead and... and and scale as needed for the whole hang power cleans, right? To where you can feel like you can move through those quick enough to where you can leave space for that run and still try to be underneath that goal time of 20 minutes. I know that goal time is a gigantic stretch goal for most of us, right? So in reality, we're trying to be as close to that 20 minutes as possible uh, rather than being all the way to that uh, time cap of 27 minutes that we'll go ahead and probably go ahead and put on there for you guys. So go ahead, keep it up, be relentless in pushing yourself on that run, coming back in, putting your hands on the bar and just start chipping away at it. Remember, stay tight in your midline on the run. We don't want to accidentally start to hyperstem the low back and light up the low back just because we're running and not thinking about what we're doing. And then, of course, keeping that midline on as well uh, during the hang power cleans, which kind of brings me into the mobility stability. Guys, mobility was going to be like hip flexors and hamstrings. There was quite a bit of posterior chain and with the assault bike sprints on... Um, 
on Tuesday, your hip flexor still might be a little tight, so go ahead and try to open those up. Uh, Stability-wise, it's gonna be midline, 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 as I already mentioned, right, for both movements. Uh, remember, guys, I hope, remember, I'm not asking you guys to get rid of all your adult beverages, but try to limit to one, and then after that, if you feel like you need to keep on drinking something or have something in your hand, go ahead and refer back to your water bottle. Uh, it's great, I've had a chunk of you already mention that you're like, you know what, I do deserve a water bottle that I actually like, and I actually enjoy keeping around money and she's made some purchases so way to be guys uh, and I've had a lot of good uh, feedback from people being like hey like I've literally been just a little more conscious about what's happening or realizing wow I am actually defaulting to multiple drinks every time I go out right um, nothing to where you're out of control but like wow like I actually think about how many extra calories that is it starts to add up, right? So guys, way to be, uh, be relentless, right? Uh, with that mindset of saying no to yourself for in the present, so you're able to say yes to yourself for something that you really care about that is somewhere out there in the future. Um, guys, remember Frosty Friday is going to be this Friday, so uh, to, yeah, today, right? So go ahead and feel free to come on out, right? Uh, Amy and I are going to be supplying um, all of the food, beverages, so on and so forth. I also want to go ahead and guys give you a heads up. It's been a little while since we've had a little bit of an update. Uh, really exciting. We are only a few months away from actually putting in our master use permit uh, plan, right? Are essentially uh, applying for permits for the new building, right? This is a long project, right? It could still be up to two to three years out, but um, we're about to start that process with the city. So really cool, kind of just chugging lawn, right? How do I say it sometimes? How do we eat an elephant like one bite at a time? Because you try to do more than that, it just seems like an infathomable uh, object to overcome. Uh, so with that, guys, remember, be relentless in everything that you do, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side.